you look back in the distance, you can hardly see the mountains back there because of the dust. The wind is so strong, it pushed everything around in our campsite. Looks like a junkyard. I mean, everything. I hope it's not as windy where you are as it is here. Well, it sure made a mess. But it's actually died down quite a bit. So I just wanted to show you that. It, uh, it can get quite ferocious. Yeah, look into the distance. You can see the dust. I mean, it is really windy today. We'll get by, it'll be okay. So this wash finds its way to the bigger Tyson wash. Look, somebody put rocks all around here. When it rains, and it doesn't take much rain, this becomes a river. We're here in the desert. It's been rainy, it's been windy, and it's been dusty. And that formula, an RV gets dirty. I have a little mini pressure washer. I've got to get water. And then we're going to clean the RV. You might can see the balloons behind me. They're uh, there to attract attention for the RV show. We'll be taking a look at the RV show before too long. I got them, they're quite steady in the sky, so there's no wind. pretty much it. It's quite simple. Not that hard. Everybody has their own way of doing this. Getting water and dumping. There's quite a quite a few examples of improvising out here in many ways. Not just dumping or getting water but also different ways of living tent dwelling class A, B and C dwelling travel trailer camper on the back of a pickup truck, you name it. Make do rigs, do it yourself rigs. My cousin sent me something the other day, he actually bought a t-shirt with these words on it. There's three words that stand alone, but together they're very powerful. I sent him a, uh, a quote that I heard when I was a kid and I kind of try to live by that quote. And the quote was, or is, it's better to light one candle than to curse the darkness. And what I get out of that is get off the couch and do something. Don't sit there and complain about it. Even if you do just one little step in a positive direction, making progress, you're lighting that candle. Well, I sent that to him. He lives in Texas. And uh, he sent something back to me. The three words he said were, uh, 
things my brother Eddie told me was a Marine Corps. Uh, it's uh, attributed to the Marine Corps. One of their mottos, I guess is the right word to say it, is to improvise, adapt, and overcome. To improvise, adapt, and overcome is a call to action. I devised a system of my own in order to introduce the water into the RV. It's um, a 12 volt pump, an RV water pump actually, that I uh, connected to the outdoor, 12 volt outdoor light. I don't need that light, I need the 12 volt. And I just simply take a water hose and I uh, stick it down in the containers that we just filled and it pumps it right into the RV. It's a, it's a very uh, efficient way to do this, uh, to uh, resupply your water tank, fresh water tank, you, uh, if it's more inconvenient to move your RV. I tend to do both, move the RV and use the containers. We can get about nine days, 10 days without moving the RV. So the RV needs to be moved down again anyway. One of the worst things that, uh, that can happen to a machine other than just total destruction is uh, to sit for long, long periods of time. So anyway, we're going to go put this water in the RV. I'll show you how to do that. And then we are going to pressure wash the RV and the car. Well, I have my little mini pressure washer. We're going to see if we can pressure wash this motor home. Oh no, jury's still out on this thing. Well, I've come to a conclusion. It's got to take elbow grease. For a wash, it's going to take this, and this, and this, and this. 